Michelle Sarah here, This Simple Life. I cannot believe we are nearing the end of January. And you know what that means? That means I am starting to purchase curriculum and receive it. Oh, it's so amazing. My first two boxes came today. And when I saw where it was from, all I saw was it is from Utah. <laughs> so I knew that meant the good and the beautiful. And yes, for the very first time, I'm going to unbox math. And I bought level two, two of them for my third grader, up and coming third grader and second grader. I saw lots of flip throughs. I was going to go ahead and purchase level three as well, just, just to make sure that we had the right level. But I felt confident after seeing some flip throughs from some different YouTube mamas that I follow, I felt like level two was going to be appropriate for her, for my third grader. But if I like this, I have not unboxed it yet. The only thing I have done is cut the top of one of the boxes. I just want to let you know right now that the level two, actually just one of the levels of math takes up the whole box. Yeah, there's a lot in there. And I got an amazing deal because right now they are doing, I got the 40% off. I would have loved to have gotten it the 70% off but it just wasn't right. And I just wasn't hundred percent sure that I wanted to use the good and the beautiful math. But then the more I thought about it, the more I prayed about it, honestly, and I felt very confident that this was the route I wanted to take for them because it, it was before Christmas. I started praying about it. I've done a whole video about us changing curriculum mid year. We've changed a lot of things. And one of the big changes we made is we went back to using the history from the good and the beautiful and I have purchased a lot of things already from the Good and the Beautiful and from other companies as well. So I just wanna say that little intro. And if you enjoy watching these videos, please give them a big thumbs up. And if you are, an, are not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of my little YouTube family. And so if I like what I see, I think I have not said that and I wanted to say this. If I like what I see and see when I look through everything, I'm definitely probably going to go ahead. I know they're actually revamping everything and kind of making it more, I think more streamlined and more um, kind of maybe more compact and things like that. But I really, really, so far the videos that I've seen, I haven't seen, I think it's going to be called simply the good and the beautiful math instead of the good and the beautiful math. Of course, it's going to be the same company, but one thing I love about the Good and the Beautiful is how they package things. I mean, so packaged, so well packaged. I love it so, so much. They take great pride in packaging their stuff. So of course, this is not a sponsored video. I just truly love their stuff. And like I said, if I like what I see, which I kind of feel like I will, <laughs> if I like what I see, I'm if I just really am blown away with it, I'm thinking about going ahead and purchasing level three if I like the way this level two is set up because I know that it's probably going to be maybe more streamlined and maybe less things to do if I like it this way. Once I really get into something and my kids are doing so well doing it like this, it would be really, I feel like, smart of me to go ahead and purchase level three. Um, I know it's basically going to be at the same price when it comes out, but I really feel like <laughs> the math box, isn't it beautiful? And I feel like that this would be, I mean, it's so beautiful. It truly is beautiful. Look at that, it's so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna open it up. It's my first time to ever look inside the math activity box. I feel like I could even, since I probably will have two of them, I feel like that I could even give one to a friend or something, just for like fun. Look at that, all the blocks, double nine domino cards. Oh, I love dominoes. Y'all love to play dominoes? I love to play 42. I love it so, so much. Oh, this looks like one of those little, okay, I gotta open it up. This is gonna be darling. Actually, my kids will probably like having one of their own. <laughs> A little tape measure <laughs> with the good and the beautiful on it. How cute is that? I feel like I could stay right here forever. But 
base tin brick seashell manipulatives. We love the beach, so that will be super fun. Then we have, oh, the clock. My kids definitely need some little work on the clock. Look at that, how cute is that? It's so precious. I love all the miniature stuff, like the miniature little tape measure. I feel like I could use that in my little toolkit. Probably when they're done with it, we'll probably get moved to my tool stuff. <laughs> The game instructions for math levels one and two. Yeah, I feel like if I really like this math, I really like manipulatives. I'm like a sucker for pretty manipulatives. I'm just gonna say it. Okay, I'm just gonna like stay all night right here in this box. I'm like a sucker for pretty manipulatives. I can definitely see why they probably this was probably taking a lot. I think I heard that it was taking like a lot of space in their warehouse. I can definitely see how this would, but oh, you're so pretty. I'm a sucker for games. <laughs> so pretty. There's like a stack. I kid you not. There's like a stack of game cards. I suppose these are game cards. Sand, tin from, oh, okay. So, so this must go with this, with that seashell thing that I was talking about. It kind of shows you nesting box 20 frame marble game oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so beautiful yeah <sighs> i haven't even looked at the books yet and i'm like i'm gonna already love order level three at, for next for the following <laughs> for <laughs> what is that 2022 2023 yeah wow oh my goodness subtraction street because they will be learning a multiplication in level three. Oh my goodness. I love all this. My kids are going to do all. I, I just saw something my kids are going to love. My daughter loves horses. And I think this is one of those. I think I've seen it like where they do like the different like little shapes and things like that. Look at that. My daughter loves horses. She will absolutely love this. I don't know. I don't remember what these are called. Tanagrams, maybe? I don't remember. I feel like, anyway, there's lots of different ones. Oh my goodness. I think my, I think my seventh grader, soon to be eighth grader, is going to enjoy this. <laughs> I think, yeah, he's going to want to do this math instead. I think I just need to order another this level too. <laughs> like for reals. Like for real. And then, oh, and then it has all the instructions. I don't know if I said, but it has all the game instructions. So yeah. It's discounted right now, like 40% off. And so if y'all want to get it, y'all better get it now. Because I, I think tonight I'm going to go, tonight or soon, I'm going to go ahead and order level three probably. I kind of need to order some more things from the good and the beautiful anyway. Yeah. In fact, I think I've already pretty much made up my mind. Because we are a manipulative sucker family. <laughs> like I'm a sucker for pretty manipulatives. Oh, the seashells, look at them. Look how pretty they are. Oh, wow. And it's funny because my kids don't really use that many manipulatives for their school. I love those so much. Look at all those little, look, they look like little dominoes. That's just so adorable. I'm sorry. I just love them so much. Uh, oh, they're little fraction pieces. Yeah. Cool. Tanagram. I bet that's what that is. Tanagram. Oh, they look like little... Oh, you know what these remind me of? When I just like popped one out, my grandma had used to have a bunch of puzzles that had like little pieces. They did this literally. They were like clown puzzles. I don't want to ruin Messy's up, but and they literally popped out like that, like the eyes and things and the ears and I don't know. We're y'all blessed to have that too. <laughs> Clowns are kind of creepy, but that puzzle was really fun. Yeah, there's a little tanagram pieces. That's really fun. That's smart. They're so smart about this stuff. Everything I've seen so far that the Good and the Beautiful does, there's some fraction pieces, like a whole, halves, thirds, fourths, and eighths. I like a little pie. That's how I learned was pie. <laughs> Chocolate pie. <laughs> um, oh, and then they have play. Oh, oh, oh. This is the place value piece. Oh, I love this. Okay. I know I saw it. Oh, here it is. The place value pieces. I bet that's what this is. Maybe. 
Maybe that's like the place value pieces. I bet that's like the hundreds and then tens and each of these make individual ones. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, see like this. Yeah, I like that, I love it. My kids definitely need to work on that. My second and first grader right now. So that will be amazing. So we have gone through the whole little box. It's just a precious little box. Sorry, y'all. I'm just in awe of this. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is the first time that I've touched it. And I can already tell you, it is beautiful. Truly be beautiful. All right. Now, the next box should be the same as this. So I won't have to have the video extremely long, like 40 minutes long. I'll just show you this one since that one is another set number two as well. So packaged. You hear all that noise? That is just so much packaging. I feel like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> it's beautiful. I already love it. It's just a cover. The cover and the sucker for pretty covers. <laughs> okay. Part one and part two. Aren't they pretty? They kind of remind me of a very sleek looking like swan. I don't know why I thought that. Did y'all ever think that? No, just me. Just me. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm a sucker for pretty stuff. Okay. So when you first open it, you see, and I can do a complete flip through. If you would like for me to do that, Blinja, just comment down below and I will come back and do a complete flip through because yeah, you know that tearing up the books I did last year and a few years before that, I probably won't be doing that this year because I love these books. Math. That's the first thing you see is like the little intro. It says first edition, oh, first edition. I wonder what they'll say on the next ones. Table of contents, math two. It shows you all the things you'll be doing in this level. I really feel like when I'm looking at this, like regrouping and things like that, I definitely think I definitely made the correct choice in ordering my third grader, up and coming third grader, the level two. I really think she's gonna benefit from this. Because I feel like it could be like even with fractions and things that could be considered like a little advanced and things like that. So I really feel like, I don't know if y'all think it's kind of advanced, but my son, who is going to be in second grade, is a little advanced in math. My daughter is just precious, but she's not advanced. She sadly takes after me in the math department. My son, he just goes on I and mean, he just like can zoom through stuff. He honestly thinks his BJU level one is boring because <laughs> he's, he's like, I don't even know how to do this. And my daughter, I actually dropped her down and letting her do some things from level one just to like, like really like solidify those foundational things because she was getting super um, frustrated. Okay. So the next page you see is at a glance. It shows you all the different pre prerequisites. <laughs> can't talk to not y'all. <laughs> um, then there's the course objectives. You can like um, look through and kind of see if your if your child is at these things or can do these things. And I can definitely see that my daughter will be able to do these things at the end of And so I can definitely see that this will be good because it's the kind of thing that she is going to know by the end of the school year. And then number recognition. The course objectives is number recognition, number sense and operations, patterns, algebra. Wow. Use symbols for an unknown number, solve for an unknown in addition and subtraction equations within 100. That will be really cool. Then we got geometry. See, she's going to be right on target, y'all. <laughs> and then fractions, measurement, graphing, measurement, length, measurement, volume. 
And by saying that my daughter, I just wanted to like clarify because I've gotten a few comments over the past of, because I say that, that my daughter is a little bit, oh, uh, she struggles with math. I'm definitely not putting her down at all. I just want you to know that. I definitely um, praise her for every little thing that she does because I can tell it's a bigger struggle for her. It just is. And for me, it was as well. Um, I eventually got it and she eventually gets it too. But it just takes a little bit more like patience and extra time with her. Like I really do a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with her versus where I can give my son my first grader worksheets and he just... He can knock them out, as, whereas my daughter just needs extra time and patience, you know, me working with her. So I really feel like this kind of curriculum, that's one of the big reasons why I picked The Good and the Beautiful as well, is because that there will be through the games and through everything, through like fun things, instead of just like pouring just over worksheets. Because sometimes she can get really sad about that and discouraged if she can't do it in her little brother that's a year a grade lower than her is getting it and so I've gotten questions like I definitely do not belittle her or anything like that it's just a fact is this that she struggles and I love my kids equally and would do nothing to hurt them in any way but I you know I really feel like that's one really nice big thing about homeschooling is that you can put your children where you think they need to be and normally when I think he or she needs to be right here is usually, it's pretty spot on. I think you as the mom know that and can really just help them master those things. Because I thought, well, she could probably do the second grade math pretty easy in BJU. And I was not correct. She struggled. She had a lot of tears. And that was one reason why we have um, done less BJU lately. And, but when I dropped her down to the level one, cause I did go ahead and purchase a level one book along with the other curriculum and she's doing a lot better and she's able to like finish it and things like that. And she's really, really proud of herself. And I just, I really love seeing that. So that's really, really fun as well. So I wanted to let y'all know because I have gotten comments in the past. And I don't think they're meant to be negative, but just um, saying how I talk about her or whatever. I, I definitely love her so much. I just, I just, I guess I share in case someone else has a struggling student or a struggling child and things like that, that that's okay. And I just share my struggles. I'm very vulnerable. I'm very open and honest. And I try to, I haven't always been in the past because I kind of wanted to protect and shelter her a little bit because of her struggles, but it's, it's just part of our life. And I've decided this year, especially that I want to share that. And so in sharing that, I hope that it encourages you. If you, if your kid's do struggle in an area that that's okay. It doesn't mean that they're less or it doesn't mean that I'm belittling them. It's just that I'm just saying that they have a little bit tougher in math, a time in math. Whereas like in other areas, she's advanced in like she lost her draw and things like that. Like she's far above what I normally see kids at her age being able to do. Um, and just the detail she puts into that, whereas maybe my other kids don't as much. And it's just, it's just all kids are different. And I wanted to share that. And I wanted to add that as a little extra because I have gotten comments like that in the past. I definitely am not ever wanting to pick her down. So, back to the book. Geometry, section one, geometry and measurement. Of course, the beautiful pictures they have throughout. And I definitely think I need to go back. It, um, look for an upload from me, hopefully within like a week or two. Um, I've got some other videos planned for the coming week. But and then lesson one is lines. I love this so much. It really focuses on dates, numerical date and textual date versus May 18th, 2019. Numerical 518.19. I love that. Like where they put the dates two different ways. I love that. And it looks like they had the daily dose and I don't know if they're in every chapter or every lesson. Uh, let me scan through and look. Yeah, I guess that first daily dose is really big. Like it's the full, like the full page. And then it looks like the daily dose in lesson two 
is just like this, which I really feel like I like that because it's kind of like, looks like maybe review or practice. I like that a lot. Oh, and I guess it kind of says, yeah, I kind of need to like look at this apparently. Um, student worksheet, of course, I guess it tells you when to play the game, which is really nice because I think, I feel like as a homeschooling mom, yeah, in level three, lesson three, it also has a little daily dose. So I guess that was that big page. So yeah, I guess it shows you when to do like the game, Pizza Parlor, Palooza, Shape Search. Yeah, that would be really, really good. Oh, that is so fun and beautiful. Yeah, I think I'm doubling. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to see what the new Simply the Good and the Beautiful is going to look like, but I'm a sucker for manipulatives, <laughs> pretty manipulatives. <laughs> And colorful pages. I think it's all, I think the new one is what I've heard is that it's all going to be kind of built into it. So yeah, this, there's a lot to unpack in this. As you can see, that's just book one. And then we have book two. I'm kind of curious to see. So apparently the first one goes through lesson 64. Yeah. And then of course it looks like you have a daily dose on everything and it definitely does advance. It looks like it advances pretty darn fast. Of course, the pie, the fractions. I like that. I really like that. Ooh, I, oh, this looks like it's got mathematician stories, like Galileo. Oops. Which I think, yeah, I've order, already ordered science a little. So there's a little, what do you call it? A little sneaker, a little, I can't think of the word. But anyway, I have already ordered science and I remembered I ordered the book Galileo because we are doing space. So how cool is that? That that lined up so perfectly on lesson 100. We learned about the mathematician Galileo. It was actually supposed to be like an extension for my eighth grader. It says think like a mathematician. I like that. I, li I like kind of things thrown in there. And I don't know if there's more. But one, when I went back to look when I saw the mathematician, was, was I liked it that they have it color coded because so much of the time, like I, that was what my older son, my oldest struggled with, was like keeping it in the right column when we're adding, uh, when we're adding and carrying. <laughs> so yeah, I like that idea that they color coded it. So we go from like the purpley blue to the red to the green. That is very smart. That is very smart. And that's not actually not add and carry. That's just for our own subtract. <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, look, not looking at the symbol. And I always tell my kids, look at the symbols before you do a problem. <laughs> and I totally didn't do that. So I don't know if they also do that with the adding and carrying. But yeah, it looks like really beautiful pages, little really, really beautiful pictures. So I think once I kind of go over this, I think I'm going to spend a day or a couple of days like really digging in and looking at it. And then you can definitely expect a little bit more of a flip through for, from me. Yeah. We got some, we got a lot to unpack here. There's definitely a lot, but I could definitely see um, how some people might say it's a lot because it's like two books for math, but I can definitely see how it's going to like go. You know, my kids are used to working at least two worksheets in math with B BJU back and front. And so I feel like that this is not going to be that much more, honestly. Maybe I just can kind of an overachiever with my kids when it comes to math. I don't know. I just really just think, I don't know. Yeah. So this isn't any more actually. If it steadily does four pages, and it's looking like sometimes it's three pages, they'll think they're getting off easy. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a bit of a funny with that math, but I just really feel like math is one of those really important subjects. And even if someone is struggling in it, I still feel like, I don't know. What do y'all do? Is this like normal for y'all to do like four pages, two pages front and back? Because this is basically what this is. I'm seeing. Yeah, this is like 
one, two, three, four, five. That one has five, but I don't know. I mean, I can see how if I feel like we're at a good spot, maybe do half the lesson. But it's funny, my youngest one was saying that today whenever I said, well, I will, since you already know this concept, you don't have to flip it over and do the other side. But he said, but mom, that's part of my school. I need to do it all. <laughs> and he's just turned seven. He's my second, gr first grader. He's the one that's a little bit more advanced in math, but he struggles in phonics. Can you believe that? And my daughter, she's going to be a, she's in second grade. She struggles with math, but she's like so good at phonics. Like, I mean, it hasn't been that long ago that she just like took off in reading. And I was just like, wow, like where did that come from? Like one night she was struggling. The next, it was, seemed like the next night. It probably was happened over a period of time. But so if you have a struggling reader, a struggling math girl or boy, just keep on. They do eventually get it, I promise. They really, 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 really do. So look for a flip through from me from the Get of the Beautiful Math because I really definitely, I love flip throughs. There's nothing like holding the actual books themselves, but I also feel like I love looking before I purchase any curriculum. I always look on YouTube. <laughs> Does anybody else do that or is that just me? I always search on YouTube to see if somebody has done like a flip through. That's the best to flip through or at least hold their thoughts on how they like the curriculum. So I will do all of it. I just did an unboxing, which I personally love doing an unboxing and I love watching unboxings. I love seeing flip throughs. So get ready for a flip through for me. I'm so bad at flip throughs, y'all. I don't even know how to angle the camera. I'm bad at all of it, but y'all, I am going to learn how to hold the camera so I can do a flip through of this, these books for y'all because they're that good. I feel like they're gonna be that good. Number three, I love reviews on them when they are done, completed. So I'm gonna do all three. So look for all three and I'm gonna do way more flip throughs and way more curriculum unboxings. I feel like this was a good amount of unboxing because the next box should just be another level two. And I'm already telling you, I like the way this is set up. I like the way it's quill bound. Quill just speaks to my very soul. Erin Condren planners are my jam. I'm a sucker for coil. And I'm a sucker for good coil. And one thing I've learned about the good and the beautiful, they are quality books. We have history year one that we're doing right now. We just finished up ancient Egypt because we changed from BJU and we um, decided to go back to the good and the beautiful year one. So we'll be doing year two. My goodness. See what I'm telling you? I can't even cut this with my scissor. And I'm telling you, I even, so my son could look at some of the pictures, I actually tore some of the paid pictures out of it. So my kids could look at the pictures while we were doing the lesson. And I'm here to tell you, you know how sometimes you start tearing pages out and the rest of the book kind of goes to pot. It's like, basically you've ruined the whole book. And so I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna, I, I hoped I wouldn't ruin the book. I tore those pages out, which I was, I was careful, but I've been careful before and it's still the whole book went to pot. <laughs> that did not affect the rest of the book. That's how good these coil bindings are from the good and the beautiful. It's kind of like an Erin Condren planner, like the paper and the coil is like none other. Like you can like do all things with the coil. I can be rough on the planner because I'm just rough on my planner. I'm sorry, I take it everywhere with me. It's like my baby, but I'm here to tell you this should be level two. Half box. Does it say? Level for level one and two. Yep. Another level two. And I'm here to tell you my kids kind of like their own stuff, but I'm not gonna unbox this because I may decide to give it gift it to a friend. I don't know yet. But I'm thinking I might, because that would just be like a sweet gift in my opinion to receive that. But 
Also, I might have it in case my kids start arguing over wanting their own. I can bust out the second one and be like, there you go. You got two of them. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy day. <laughs> anyway, it's just another level two. So I will be looking through all of this, coming back with the flip through, talking about my thoughts about it so far. So far, I've seen some videos where they say it's too much. And I was a little bit like... They thought it was too much enough to put aside, but apparently not everybody is like so much like extra math like I am. I'm like, you might not get everything else done today, but we're gonna do at least two pages of math front to back. So I feel like my kids will probably on the days we only do three pages, they will feel like that is one easy day. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I enjoyed chatting with you all. I hope you guys don't mind my long-winded chattiness <laughs> as per Sarah usual. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and look for those videos. The flip through video coming probably in about a week or two and I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.